Thanks for checking out this unboxing video. This is for the September Fright Crate. And yes, it's a little bit late, later than it usually is. Um, but that's just because they they had a item that was held up, I think, through customs or something. Um, so they, um, they're good about, you know, putting that information on their Facebook page. So not only just saying when it's, uh, whenever the boxes are going to be late, but also kind of updating on, okay, they're shipping, they're starting to ship now, and okay, they're all shipped out. So they're very good with communication. So that's always appreciated. Plus the fact that their boxes are always more than solid. Um, even if I don't like the properties or the films that are going to be included for the items, I still like how the stuff's executed for the most part. So, and on that note, actually, I think I remember that for the properties for the September box, I wasn't very excited for them, but I still get the box anyways, because I know, you know, items are always going to be good. Tissue paper. All right, so we'll go with the shirt first. Shirts are always the best, in my opinion. Oh, oh, this shirt's fun. This is a fun shirt. This is a really fun shirt. All right, and it is critters. Look at how good. Look at how good that looks. That's pretty awesome. That is. That's pretty great. I love that. That's a lot of fun. Now it's time for Carlin's confession time. I've not seen any of the critters films in their entirety except the one the newest one that's on Shudder at the moment, which is broken up into these weird, like, 10-minute or less episodes, basically. is like a show, basically. But it, it's a movie just kind of chopped into pieces. But I thought that was fun. Um, I've seen portions of other Critters films, but I still need to watch a full Critters film. Well, I mean, all of them, really. So, <laughs> all right, the next thing feels like it's one of the magnets, one of the resin magnets. Oh, cool. Oh, this looks really good. This is really nice. I'm going to put this on the side of my beer fridge. So this is from Pan's Labyrinth, and it is the Pan from Pan's Labyrinth. That's really well sculpted, and the, um, yes, one big magnet. And the, um, the paint job's really nice on that. I don't really see any screw-ups on the paint, really, either. Paint job's ex pretty excellent. Every now and then, you know, I'll get some paint job issues with their, with their resin pieces, but... This one's pretty flawless. That looks really nice. I really like that. That's going on my beer fridge. It's back there right after I'm done with this. Ooh, I feel something that's like an eye mask or something like that. Oh, no. Well, very, very, very uh, topical for now. It's a face mask that you can use because of COVID. So it's good that they provided that. Well, it's not bad. So we have Freddy, Jason, Michael, Leatherface. If you get closer, it's kind of like blurry, the the quality of the picture. But I think that's just kind of what happens with fabrics when you print on them. So it's not like the best quality, but I wonder how this fits. Mm. Not too bad. Um, I like ones that kind of like go under your chin a little bit more and kind of go up. I mean, I have, I potentially have a larger nose than a lot of people, but um, I like the ones that kind of go up a little bit more and, and really kind of wrap around the bottom. Cause I found that when they go under your chin a decent amount, like it holds a lot better in my opinion. So, uh, but that's not bad. You know, a lot of people can really use this. So not a bad idea. Uh, let's go ahead and do the pin, because I think that's the second to last item, then. Love the pins, usually. Oh, cool. Oh, nice. Oh, now I remember. That. Okay, I've forgotten that one of the properties is one of my favorite horror films. Um, Cabin in the Woods. I love the Cabin in the Woods. I think I have one kind of like this that I had gotten from Bam Horror. Do I have it on my board? can't find it right now, but I'm pretty sure I have one that was just like this for Bam Horror, but um, this looks better. It is the guy who's supposed to kind of be in like an homage to Pinhead, um, and he's just seen in those, the, the part where they go, you know, underground and they're, you know, in kind of the glass ele uh, elevator type thing, the cube, and then they're seeing all the bad guys in the cubes. So this guy is in there with the saw blades in his head, and um, yeah, 
He's an homage to Hellraiser. Pinhead and Hellraiser. Who is not called Pinhead in the books, just so people know. I've read read both the books he's in, and he's not called Pinhead. And actually, in the Scarlet Gospels, the final book, uh, he actually takes some jabs at being called Pinhead. Uh, because in the book, they have people actually call him that, and he's like talks about how he basically hates being called that. He's known as Hell Priest in the books. Like, that's his proper name. I'm sure a bunch of you people knew that, though. Oh, this one's fun. And this is kind of timely, too, because all of these movies are on uh, HBO Max right now. So I'm thinking about going through watching them all and doing reviews for them. So let me know if you want this. Because uh, I've only seen the first one in its entirety. And I didn't go any further. And people may uh, understand that. So this is a resin piece for Leprechaun. That's pretty cool. I mean, it does and does not look like Leprechaun. You know, like the faces is, is a bit different. But you obviously get the reference. Like, you obviously know. I love how he's standing on all these gold coins. That looks phenomenal. I love that. Now, take away the fact that he doesn't necessarily in the face look like the actual Leprechaun in Leprechaun. It's, it's a cool piece. Like, it, it's really well done other than that. Yeah. And the... For the most part, the paint is good. There's some there's some pretty sloppy areas, actually. Like the socks, pretty sloppy if you look at those lines. Those lines are bad. Yeah, but, you know, I'm going to have them facing forward. They look much better on the front than they do the back. And then with the hand here, there's a bunch of the black paint going up on the hand. But that's kind of hard to paint that. Um, anyway, so not too bad though. I mean, the most important areas I think look pretty good. And when you just have them sitting like this, which is how people would display them, um, you can't really see many of, many of the real issues. Although, you know, there's some green on the knuckles, but that's not a big deal. I really do love how all those gold coins are there. That is so cool looking. I love it. Yeah, he's going to. He's going to sit out. I don't have all my resin pieces sitting out um, from Serial Resin Co. that I get out of this box, mainly because I don't really have room for all of them. So I kind of cycle through. Like when I get new ones, if it's if it's a new one that is one of my favorites, then it gets on the table, and then I remove one from the table. But right now I have over there the, um, the Army of Darkness one of Evil Ash. I have the Halloween one of Michael Myers that lights up. Uh, Shorty from Killer Clowns from Outer Space, which is one of the best ones they've done. And also the Jin from Wishmaster, which is the other... I think that's the best, best one that they've done. And I think Shorty's after that. And then... Um, crap, I'm forgetting her name. The girl when she becomes a vampire in Fright Night. But yeah, those are the ones I have up right now. Uh, Leprechaun might make the cut. We'll see. Anyway, let's uh, read their little insert here. All right, uh, it's September 2020, exclusive Critter shirt featuring everyone's space carnivores, stunning design by amazing, every, okay, I, I think they forgot to say everyone's favorite space carnivores, it just says featuring everyone's space carnivores, stunning design by amazing artist Max Cave, aren't they adorable? Yeah, they are actually, and Max Cave always does an outstanding job, I know I always say that, but I feel like I need to keep reiterating, because he does such an amazing job. Uh, Leprechaun figure, where's me gold? Custom figure presented by Serial Resin Co. It'll bring you luck wherever you go. Exclu These are all exclusive, um, except the last one. Fawn Magnet from Pan's Labyrinth. Another item from Serial Resin Co. One of our favorite characters from Guillermo del Toro's Beloved Dark Fantasy is a good film. I saw it in the theater when it came out, actually. That was a great way to experience it. Uh, Forticus Pin. Cabin in the Woods. The Lord of Bondage and Pain is immortalized in this enamel pin. Two inches, double post, soft enamel. I didn't know that that was actually his name. Um, I mean, I've watched the movie a lot of times, and I've never, you know, taken the time to really go figure out what his name was. I didn't know he had a name. I thought he was just, like, a random, you know, a creature they put in there. Horror Pals Face Mask. Medium-sized cloth mask featuring some of our favorite horror icons. And that one is not exclusive. Everything else is exclusive. So, yeah. So that's it. Um, another pretty good box. Uh, obviously, I always enjoy the pin. Obviously, the resin piece is always good, even if it's not 
you know, a, a property that you're super excited about. The magnet, I think the magnet is probably the most impressive thing for me other than what's usually my favorite thing, the shirt. I love this shirt. I'm definitely going to rock this shirt. Um, I need to get it washed real quick. I was, I'm actually going to do laundry today, so this might go in there immediately. Love it, love it. I, I just love the, the skull, like him holding that skull and looking so sinister and menacingly at the skull. So good. Anyway, uh, another great one. Awesome. Thanks, everyone, for checking this out. Put some comments down here. Did you get this box? What were your thoughts? And if you didn't, what did you like? What didn't you like? You know, go ahead and let's get nerdy about it. But do me a quick favor. Hit that subscribe button. That is your best way to thank me for doing any videos that you've ever liked. If you like one single video I've ever done, please subscribe because that's your way to repay me because you're not paying me. No one's paying me. I'm just spending my time doing this and it really keeps me motivated when I see new people subscribing and I legitimately look at every person's profile who subscribes and I say in my mind thank you thank you to this person but anyway thanks for doing that also hit the uh notification bell if you are subscribed or you're going to subscribe because then you know when I'm putting up new videos whether they're unboxings like this or movie reviews which I do a lot of especially in October and um or doing a live stream but Regardless, I appreciate you checking this out, and until next time, keep it brutal.